Hello, this is Sarah. I'm going to read another uh, mini mini article that I, I I feel like it's a mini article that my roommate Bruce wrote about Israel again. I believe I already made something like this on YouTube. I think it was um, I was trying to re- trying to remember what it was called. Something about um, oh uh, political judo, and um, this is like another article. I'm not really sure how to ca- what to call it. And my roommate's right here, but I'm going to try and make this under 15 minutes, because that's the limit I have on this podcast, YouTube. But um, I'm going to go ahead and read this. My roommate wrote this, and it goes like this. By the time the ICJ makes a ruling, the Palestinians could all be gone. I certainly hope not. That's why I hope someone can prevail upon Russia and or China since they both have hypersonic missiles to invoke R2P and UN Article 377 to force an end to this slaughter by taking out Israel's military sites. I'm sorry to sound scary or belligerent, belligerent, says Bruce, as an old peace activist, but I am not a pacifist, and I understand that sometimes bullies have to get a pop in the nose Or if it's bad enough, they need to be arrested. And he wrote arrested in capital letters. The latter is unlikely unless Americans get serious and make a revolution. But Russia and China could save thousands, and he wrote thousands in capital letters, of lives with the ultra-high-speed missiles they have now. I'm sorry it has come to this. Should we continue to just watch and protest, in parentheses, while this continues, please search R2P and UN Article 377. I think you'll understand. Um, Let's see, um, we have uh, about 12 minutes and about 12 plus minutes, um, but no more than uh, 12 minutes, really. To keep on keep talking, but um, uh, I really wanted I didn't know what to call call that, but he writes almost little articles on comments on YouTube, and he often gets them deleted by YouTube. And um, if this is going to show up on YouTube, let the record show that YouTube is really being repressive, and so is Google with censoring. Every time I have a malfunction on my phone or on the internet, I wonder if someone's messing around with what I'm doing. Yeah, I think you're about to say something, Bruce. Yeah, or, maybe we could call this article uh, "Responsibility to Protect." Responsibility uh, to protect. That's what R2P stands for. All right, responsibility and, to protect. Yeah. And uh, it's a recognized uh, interna- international uh, principle. Uh, I'm not sure, you know what what it belongs to in terms of documents, but uh, it's it's a respected idea that we we have a right, not just a right, but a responsibility to protect each other. If, if it's, it's like walking down the street. If you see some big thug beating up a little old lady, you try to do something, even if it's just calling, whipping out your cell phone and calling 911. Or if you're capable of it, uh, you grab a two by four and knock out the bully. You know, if you, if you can, you know, but do something or try. For, uh, but uh, and people are trying different things, but it it just seems that everything is kind of inadequate. And uh, mm. every day uh, we, you know, hear umpty hundred Palestinians were killed in the last 24 hours, and how, and a greater number were wounded, and these are children and, and, and women and just non-combatants, older people, disabled people, and it, it, it's an obvious genocide. It's, I, 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 I find it just, just appalling that anybody can argue that it's not a genocide. It's just, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. So R R two R two P or R T P. R two P. Okay. Number two. 
Responsibility to protect. Yeah. Okay, I just texted myself. I hope this doesn't turn off the Spreaker app. Okay. All right, we've got, um, got, still got about 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, we don't have to stretch it out for the sake of time. Okay. We could just you know, leave, leave it at that and say, if somebody awesome. has something to say, you can say it wherever you want. And it will probably freedom be freedom of speech. And yeah. I hope somebody does something to, to stop this uh, this slaughter. It's it's horrible. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an insult to, to all of humanity. I and think it's, uh, it's tra traumatizing, emotionally traumatizing. I don't know what percentage of humanity, but it's 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 a significant fa fraction. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna close comments on uh, the YouTube because it's a jungle out there. But um, you guys can feel free to like and subscribe to my channel, Cyril of Universal Ethics. Because um, you can make the algorithm work by liking this video. And if you're on my podcast, you can feel free to like that, everyone. All right, thank you. I really wish that YouTube would grow up a little bit. I wish the administration would grow up a little and censor less. And I wish the users and the commenters on YouTube would uh, would truly let their true conscience be their guide and not flame and, um, and act too ultra-left or ultra-right and be a little diplomatic when you're doing the, the comments. But um, if you want to, if you really know how to be respectful and you really know how to, how to talk civilized, I encourage you to uh, put your ideas out there. I really wish I could open the comments, but it's because of that that it ruins it for all the civilized commenters out there. It really does. And that that could be an act of censorship as well. You know, when we're afraid to talk because we're afraid of offending someone else or afraid of getting censored or when we're, you know, afraid to, you know, afraid in general of being flamed, I, I think... We could really learn how to deal with our fears and our defensiveness a little bit as mm -hmm. well. We need to know what defense really is. It's not about attacking each other. It's about defending what's right. And unfortunately, many people think that going to war is right in this case. And unless you're fighting against war itself and fighting against uh, the, the wrong, which is the Israeli forces and even much of the U.S. forces, you know, you're... You're not fighting war for the right reason. <laughs> we gotta have peace. You know, was, I don't want to sound like that either. I'll, I'll give you guys another example. When I was bullied at school, it was only when I had to smack someone sometimes when they would leave me alone, and then I would get in trouble. <laughs> you know, I would either get threatened with suspension, and since I didn't like fighting... I it, it felt horrible. It went straight to my core every time that happened. And I knew my aunt was going to disown me if I got in trouble at school. If my citizenship at school ever uh, went down to a, a D minus or whatever or a unsatisfactory, she was she threatened to kick me out. It's like she didn't want she didn't want me going bad on her. She wanted me to be a perfect kid, you know. And and when I had to beat up a kid back for beating me up or bullying me, I, I felt terrible. Sometimes we have to really fight for the right thing. And I did not want to, I did not want to hurt the, this one particular boy on the school bus, but he bullied me every day. He called me names every day. And I finally just, you know, whoa, you know, and thank goodness the bus driver didn't tell didn't tell my aunt or tell the school, you know, I'm, I, I could have been expelled just for t hitting him a little too hard, but I'm glad he was okay. I even asked him if he was all right, you know, and I, and I cried harder than he did. Cause you know, I actually, Ooh, I hit him, you know, but you know, think, think about it. You control yourself every day for almost 365 days every day at school. And you know, after a while, it gets to you. So uh, think of the Palestinians, you know, and think of the people that are supporting Palestine. You know, we've had enough. So um, thanks, Bruce, for this wonderful article again, and I hope to uh, publish some more, especially if your comments aren't being published. Thanks. And thanks, listeners.
Bye.